guys welcome back to our channel in our previous video we have learned about um, class provider and existing provider in this video we will learn about value provider here we are using the same bookstore application in app module file we are having this providers array press f12 to see the definition of this provider again press f12 here we have all the provider uh, now we will discuss about this value provider so press f12 in this value provider, we are having provide and multi property. Uh, this one is required and this is optional. Let's see what we have in this value sans provider. So press F12. Uh, see here we are having use value property. Let's understand what is the use of this use value property. Uh, go back to app module file. We can use this use value property. Um, if you want to bind any object uh, in the dependency injection. To understand this concept, uh, let's say we are creating new service. This time there is no need to create a separate class. We can simply use string here. Okay, now here uh, let's add object use provide. We call this part as token. Whatever we are defining here, this is token and whatever we are defining here this is provider here we can define a string value as token let's say app token and now we can use its value by using use value provider let's say here we can define any kind of object we can use boolean object complex object we can define anything here let's say this is token here we are using this simple injection now i want to uh, inject this particular service uh, in component uh, let's say i want to inject this new service in ohm component let's open this ohm component let's see how can we do that in the constructor part put a comma and here this is a special type here we have to use one inject keyword um, in this inject keyword we have to provide the token name um, app token is the token name so copy it from here and paste it now we have to provide access modifier here i'm using public give it a name that we will use it in this component uh, let's say token then type of this particular value um, let's say type a string that's it this is how we can inject this string type value in the component to display this value uh, go to html template file um, this is a public type so we can use this property in the html file also uh, let's use one more p tag here let's say value equal like this so copy this token and paste it here and save the changes okay go to the browser see here uh, we are having this value this is token whatever uh, the value we have defined um, in this app model we are getting that value in the browser this time uh, let's define an object here instead of this string okay. let's say name this is name come on description this is description and save the changes in ohm component now replace this string with uh, any save the changes now in the html file we can use token dot name 
and uh, copy this p tag to display the description let's say description yeah, let's say name now we have to use this description here And save the changes go back to the browser we are not getting a loop I missed the e spelling here and save the changes see here uh, we are having both the values here this is how we can use use value to define our services and this is very useful to handle configurations in our application I hope this video is helpful to you. You can download this project source code. The link is available in the video description. Thanks for watching this.